Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And it's Tuesday night, and you know what that means. It's time for the NXT Event Center. And here's the man that will bring you all that has happened on NXT, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, episode 1252. March the 5th, 2024, 10, 19 p.m. Well, it's the final video for the day. And as we're in the nighttime, obviously, uh, NXT was over about over uh, 10 uh, minutes ago. And uh, we'll talk about what happened on Roadblock. Lexus King uh, um, kicked off Roadblock as he was narrating some of the matches that, some of the main matches that will be happening. And he drives in this nice, cool-looking car. The dashboard's like Knight Rider type. It's like a Lamborghini type. I mean, dude drives it all the way to the NXT the Performance Center. He says, we're ready to go. I'm ready. Are you? So, they had the Asylum matchup. Now, Joe Gacy versus um, Dijak. And this matchup was crazy in Dijak. Did a moonstop off the top of the cage, and with his height, six foot seven, <sighs> unbelievable. But but, and this was a crazy matchup, and Die Jack ended up winning the match. So, and Tony D'Angelo um, decided to re recruit Luca Crucifino to the family as a concierge. So. So, so Luca Crucifino as part of the family could be a big, big, uh, big thing, a big, big deal down the road. Meanwhile, uh, Fallon Henley was talking to Riley Osborne about Thea Hale, and uh, and then Blair Davenport says, "Why don't you help anybody?" and starts insulting Fallon. And Riley Osborne's like, "Okay," but then he's like, "I gotta go talk to Thea. I'll see you later." And she goes, and he goes, "Yes." She goes, "See it." So and. Guess what? The match uh, decided to have a match, and a challenge has been made, and Ava made the matchup. Meanwhile, Tatum packs and Lyra Valkyrie about their tag team title match, and, and then Lyra kills Valkyrie says, "Don't be a good chance. We may not walk out with the titles because Oscar and Kyrie Sane are the best of the best." And Lyra's not not joking, and so Tatum knows what she has to do and what she what can she do. Meanwhile, the NXT. <coughs> The NXT Tag Team titles were on the line. <coughs> Excuse me. As the Wolf Dogs, as the team of Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker, the Dusty Cup um, Classic Champions, defending those titles against Chase U, as the team of Andre Chase and Duke Hudson, and Jasmine Nix, Thea Hale, and uh, JC Jane were in the cor corner, but they came up short, winning the tag team titles. And basically... You know, Thea Hale walked out in anger, and um, a little bit of that anger could lead into something. Meanwhile, Kelly Kincaid interviewed Carmelo Hayes about what Carmelo Hayes is going to do to Ilya Dragunov and how he's going to be the NXT champion and how he's going to beat Tony D'Angelo. Sean Spears, formerly known as Ty Dillinger, made his return to NXT in in-ring competition as he took on the, a young man, um, Uriah Connors, and... Spears ends up winning the matchup. And then Spears addresses Ridge Holland after the matchup. And Ridge Holland goes after him to attack him with hand. And then Spears kind of kicks the chair to... Um, <clears throat> kicks the chair that he brings to the ring to Ridge Holland. says, go ahead and hit me with it. And the officials and referees basically stopped him from doing so. So that is... Uh, <clears throat> and it, so... And that will lead to a matchup next week when Spears and Holland go one-on-one. -on -one. Josh Briggs just talks to Brooks Jensen and says, Hey, I heard you're going to be facing Oba Femi for the North American title. And Brooks goes, That's right. I don't think he's going to be able to say, Listen, you told me to grow a set. You told me to do things on my own. That's what I'm doing. And next week, that's what that's what, that's what I'll be doing. Challenging Oba Femi for the North American title. And then as Josh Briggs... As Brooks Jensen walks away, Briggs is kind of worried about it. And then Dijak talks to, to Briggs, saying, hey, he called you brother, but he's lying. So, 
Is Dijak trying to recruit Briggs on his side? Hmm. Be very interesting if he did. Meanwhile, Kelly Kincaid inter- um, interviewed uh, Ilya Dragunov about this matchup between Hayes and D'Angelo, but then Stax and Crucifino interrupt. Dragunov says, we'll do whatever it takes, and we'll be going out in the NXT t- um, title once the Don wins. So let's go. And then and then, and then Ilya Dragunov, uh, Dragunov says, I can't wait for this matchup. The, NX, the WWE Women's Tag Titles on the line is the Kabuki Warriors making their return to NXT as a team. Um, Asuka, Latin, she was there last year, uh, defeating Roxanne Perez, while Kyrie Sane's her first return to NXT in six years. And uh, they took on the team of the w- NXT Women's Champ, Lyra Valkyria, and Tatum Paxley. Meanwhile, there was an altercation going on with Thea Hale against Izzy Dane. Dame and Keanu James. <clears throat> and, uh... But then, uh, the, the Kabuki Warriors ended up winning the match after a miscommunication by Valkyria and Paxley. But, Roxanne Perez ended up ta- attacking Lionel Valkyria and hurting her arm in the process, taking her out on a stretcher. This is Roxanne Perez is a little different, believe me. She's got more of a killer instinct. She may be small, but I wouldn't want to mess with a little lady. Don't mess with Roxanne Perez, whatever you do. Meanwhile, um... <clears throat> Fallon Henley took on Blair Davenport, and during the matchup, Sol Ruka made her return to attack Davenport during the matchup. And Hen- and now we'll give Henley the victory over Davenport. And while Chase U was talking about the laws, JC Jane kind of ran down both Chase and Duke Hudson. And then and FD Hell goes, I got to breathe. I got you know my I'm going. We might have a tag team match next week against Izzy Dane and uh, Keanu James. And then she says, "Who well, you gonna get this some partner?" Says you. And she goes, "I'm busy that day. Sorry." J.C. Jane's showing her true colors against Chase U. I am not surprised by that. <clears throat> Trust me on that. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Ava uh, was talking to Gigi Dolan. Gigi Dolan wants a match against uh, Ariana Grace. So I, and she says Ariana Grace refused to. And then Ariana Grace goes, you know what, I'll accept, the, I'll accept your challenge. Only if you would stop with the vulgar language and I'll treat, and help me treat you. Help me teach you how to be a lady. And then Gigi Jones, I'll be fine. I, I'm hoping that Ariana Grace does not win because I love Gigi Dolan. And if Ariana Grace is going to water the lady down, I don't know. Ariana Grace doesn't understand that the WWE NXT is, you know, WWE is there for fighting. That's exactly what wrestling. That's what we. Even Ariana, even Gigi Dolan is trying to get that logic. And, and uh, you know what? She's about as crazy as her father, Santino Morales, Ariana Grace, a bit of an airhead. Come on. Quit being a beauty. It's not a beauty badge in there, Miss Grace. Trust me. You should use some of these skills that your father may have taught you. Anyways. Meanwhile, Kelly Kincaid interviews Sean Spears at the parking lot. He says, you just made Rich uh, Holland angry and you're going to have a matchup because that's what I'm counting on. And that he, that he, <clears throat> I'm, I'm counting on Rich Hall and heading to the ring and fighting me next week. Meanwhile, the North Cal- uh, Quarter Catch Crew are addressing the uh, Charlie Dempsey's Heritage Cup title victory over uh, Noam Dar. As they were talking about the end of their promo, guess who shows up? William Regal. That's right. In real life, he is the father of Charlie Dempsey. And William Regal's was congratulating Charlie Dempsey. He says, the Heritage Cup Championship meant a lot to me, meant to the people over in Europe with the European-style wrestling and all. And you, you, I, was saying, I hope you defend that cup with honor and pride. And and then Charlie Dempsey goes looks at what Regal. I can, uh, I can defend the cup better than you can. Oh! Everyone, oh, because they know that he just talks smack to his own father. I wouldn't do that... Mr. Dempsey, wouldn't do that to your own dad, man. Anyways, uh, Noam, Noam Dar's gotten this stance again. Ooh, and then last time, last, you know what? It's time for bigger, better things onward and upward. 
I think he probably wants an NXT title shot or a North American title shot. We'll see what happens there. Then Mr. Stone was looking at the video that Alexis King was, was talking smack about him and his family and all. Elizabeth Von Wagner says, I got to do this alone, man. I want you to stay in the back. I know I've done a lot for you, but can you do this for me? And then Mr. And then Mr. Wagner goes, okay, that's fine. So, looks like Mr. Stone's going to try to pull himself in the middle of the ring. Meanwhile, num num number one contender's match was the main event, Tony D'Angelo versus Carmelo Hayes. Winner faces Dragunov at Stand and Deliver. During the time in the matchup, Trick Williams' music was played and everybody thought he was back. But then, but then when the show, music shut down, he wasn't going to come out. And he goes, and then Tony D'Angelo took, care of, took advantage of the situation. One, two, three. Uh, Tony D'Angelo will face Ilya Dragunov at Stand and Deliver. But then he grabs the microphone, he apologizes for the stunt he pulled. He said, you know, I do whatever it takes, but... Uh, I got you a gift anyways. And the gift was Trick Williams actually showing up, but he, she went through the crowd because security was watching. He is attacking uh, Carmelo Hayes, and he attacked all the security guards. And basically... And... Uh, so, and basically was standing tall in the end. And they're chanting, welcome back, and all that. It was... It was something. So... NXT low roadblock 24 event center. Technically, it would be the NXT event center for March the 5th, 2024. As, before I conclude this video, as you know, tomorrow is my um, tomorrow is my official birthday. That's right. Um, for those who have sent bir um, or are sending bir uh, birthday me birthday wishes online, I want to say ahead of time, thank you all for those. And we'll see. For tomorrow, I'll pop, I'm going to do a birthday special episode. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure that one out. But I will be playing the Joker's Wild, though. That would be really cool. So, so I'll be playing the Joker's Wild. As you know, a 20-round battle against the devil on my birthday. It's time to give a birthday bean to the devil. I'm going to punch him in the face. That will be my birthday present. Punch the devil in the face and try to win on the Joker's Wild. Pulling that Walmart bandit. Kind of get to $1,000 or more. Or get some natural triples, man, on the med belt. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday officially. I got to work tomorrow, so I got to end this video here and upload it. So, thank you for tuning in. And episode 1252 of Eric Lewis Shenanigans of 1977. Remember, it's just a name honoring, um, honoring the life that I had since I was born in 1977 and still going on today. A lot of people are not, are not very... There's some people out there very uneducated about my uh, the name of my title and a reason why I named it. I think I'll do that as a birthday special. Just, you know, explain a little bit more about my title because I want, you know, I can't just, I just can't, I can't call my channel the Eric Lima Show or the Eric Lima Channel and it's too bland. So I had to come up with something fancy. But I'll explain to that on my birthday special probably. So that's all the time we have on the show. Thank you for much for tuning in. Tuning in, so until next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big BVE, Dorf of Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Earthly Machine Anigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.